there may come a point when you are animating in Anime Studio where you want to convert your assets into Flash. You may want to just expand over to Flash to do animations in it to take advantage of the Flash tools. Or maybe you are wanting to design a game and you prefer the animation and drawing tools in Anime Studio and you want to design your assets in Anime Studio before you start programming. Well, whatever the case is, you can definitely do it. And it's not the most, I guess I would say, user-friendly way, but it can be done. And so the first thing we need to do is have our asset open in Anime Studio. And in this case, if you take a look at my timeline, I have no frames going on here. It's just pretty much a single character on one frame. And so once you are good to go, you can go to File and Export Animation. And in this case, I'll choose the output format to be Flash or Swift. And I'll just have two frames of animation because we only have one frame, but I'll just do two anyway and then click OK. Now from here we can browse to the folder where we want to save this. So I have uh, the file right here. I found the folder. I can click Save and it will export it out. Now what's happening here is since I had Flash open, it immediately, once the export was complete, it immediately decided to bring this into Flash. And so what we have here I can just pop out here really quick, is we have the, the character good to go. Now, when we import like this, we are essentially importing an SWF. And if you don't have Flash open when you do this, what you'll want to do for the next step is to go to File, Import, and then Import to either Library or Stage, and then you would browse for the SWF file. In this case, it's right there that you exported from Anime Studio, and then you would be able to import that and use it. So what happens here is the SWF or Swift file comes in as a vector graphic, which is important, especially when you're animating in programs like this. The other thing it does too, is you can see my library, I have a bunch of symbols. It pretty much brings in every single element that makes up your character as a symbol, which can either be a blessing or a good thing. The thing is, if you don't want that, you can always just highlight your entire character here and then just break apart the drawing. And that way you would have a loose drawing then. The second thing to keep in mind here is when you are looking at this, you'll notice that some of the bells and whistles that Anime Studio has, I guess, if for lack of a better term, bells and whistles, um, is, for instance, I used the hide edge tool on the nose. I did some tapering with the lines and such. You can see now that all that stuff has been removed. So, for instance, I would have to come in here and, you know, clean up these lines and do whatever I need to do to basically get rid of these lines so that I um, have what I want <laughs> in regards to the uh, the way the character looks but those are a couple of things to keep in mind and it's not a perfect way to do it but from here then you could break it apart keep your symbols make a character symbol and you could start animating out or make it a movie clip and start programming your action script accordingly now one more thing I can point out let me jump back to anime studio is if for instance, you have an animation, you can also import animated assets in as well. So if I can grab my manipulate bones tool here, I can just page forward to frame one and then, you know, I'll bring the hands up like this. So we have 12 frames of animation of basically the arm going up and down. So then when we go to export this out, I'll make sure I select 12 frames of animation and have Swift format, click OK and then I can browse for the, oops, that's not the right folder. There we go. I'm gonna browse for my folder and then put in animation as the name, 
export it out. It comes into a new file here. And you probably already noticed this with my second or my first file, but basically what happens is it'll keep the animation, but it'll put it into keyframes. And so there's no tweened motion here. It's just frame by frame by frame by frame. And again, that might be a good or bad thing, depending on how you want to animate this out. And so that's just one more thing you can do. So you can definitely animate your elements out in Anime Studio and then import them. It might not be the best way if you're not wanting to do that frame by frame effect, but that is, uh, that is how you would do it. And I know there are ways to do this in an opposite direction where you could import your flash files into anime studio and i may cover that next week or in a future lesson but anyway if you are looking for more tutorials you can definitely check out incrediblettutorials.com i have a bunch of free tutorials on there for you to browse and watch i also have incrediblefiles.com which is a premium tutorial site where you'll find extensive courses that you can download and watch and then there is incredibletutoring.com which is a site where you can sign up for tutoring and we can go one-on-one -on -one with your project and get you up and animating but anyway that is all i have for you this week thanks for watching and i'll see you next time